Okay, now that we have created the waterfall content type and we have added fields to it, now comes the fun part of actually creating waterfall content. Doing the work of this video is required to complete future learning exercises. Here's what we're going to create. From the course asset directory, in the unit five, there are six waterfalls that we need to add starting here at Hookah Falls, Kite Kite Falls, and so forth concluding with Dawson Falls. Let's click on Hookah Falls to get an overview of the data to bring into our Drupal site. Nearly all of these details we will bring over to our site. Waterfall name, its description, its image, and others. I want to point out that at this time, we have not yet created the taxonomy fields, waterfall location, and hike difficulty. These are indicated as taxonomy fields to help you identify them. The other field we will not bring over yet is the waterfall video indicated as a media field. Of course, we have not learned about media and taxonomy, so we will add these details in upcoming videos when appropriate. One last thing before we head over to our Drupal site. Down here, near the bottom of each waterfall, you will find the HTML source for various fields. This is provided in case you are having issues copying and pasting the text as provided above. Be sure to remember that if you use this HTML source, to click on the source button in the WYSIWYG Drupal editor. Okay, we're done with this overview. Let's head on over to our waterfall handbook Drupal site. To add waterfall content, click on content in the admin toolbar, then click on add content button. Next, click on waterfall. Of course, you can get to this same page by hovering over content, add content, and then click on Waterfall. Great. On the right hand side here, you can ignore these content settings. Keep them at their default. Instead, focus on copying all the details from the asset directory and pasting them here into these fields. It's important to copy the details exactly for each waterfall, and it's important to create all six waterfalls because future learning activities depend on this waterfall content being created. So let's start. Go back to the asset directory. Under unit five, click on the first waterfall. For me, it is Hookah Falls. Again, we just need to copy and paste the details here. So I'll start with the waterfall name, copy, paste. I'll do the same for the waterfall description, copy, paste. For the official website, for me, it is located near the bottom of the page in the asset directory. Copy, paste. For the image, be sure to upload the appropriate image located in the Unit 5 Images folder. And since we have configured the waterfall image to require alternative text, for the alternative text field, I will simply put the name of the waterfall. Of course, it should be more descriptive than that. Continuing on with hike duration. Copy. Paste. Next is the walking and driving instructions. Copy. Pasta. And conclude with the waterfall height. Copy. Paste. Be sure that each waterfall you create is published. Click Save. Fantastic! Scroll to confirm that the data was entered as expected. At this time, don't worry about what this content looks like. We will alter its display in future videos. Now, be sure to repeat this process for the remaining five waterfalls.
Well done. To complete this video, head to the content section to verify that six waterfalls have been created. Nice work. Catch you in the next video.